This is Pam Smith with Farm Journal Magazine, and uh, I'm here today with a South Dakota State University weed specialist. Mike, you want to give us your full title? Sure, I'm Mike Mechnick, the Extension Weed Specialist for South Dakota State University. Great, and we've been talking about volunteer corn, and we have uh, uh, several different systems now, trait systems, and we have some challenges coming our way on volunteer corn. Can you talk about that a bit? Sure, yeah. Well, you know, the volunteer corn issue has become a little bit more important now that more people are growing corn after corn, and they're wondering if the volunteer corn is going to cause a problem uh, like it might in soybeans. Uh, so we spent the last two years uh, actually working with uh, Monsanto and several other universities to try to quantify the effect of volunteer corn on corn yields. And uh, it turns out it may not be quite as important as we once thought. We kind of figure at typical volunteer corn densities, the relative impact is fairly minimal, maybe only losing maybe $3 an acre or $5 somewhere in there. So it might not be quite as important under normal circumstances. Now, if you have a lot of volunteer corn out there, maybe a thousand plants per acre, then you might be getting into maybe a 10% yield loss situation uh, or perhaps even more. And so uh, under those circumstances, then you might want to be looking at some control options. Okay, and uh, what about uh, uh, corn and soybeans? Is that a problem too? Yeah, actually, uh, we always kind of suspected corn, volunteer corn and soybeans uh, was causing yield loss, but it, the effect was actually a little bit more than what we anticipated. Uh, it turns out it only takes about one corn plant every 10 feet by 10 foot area to justify spraying maybe six to nine dollars uh, worth of or not six to nine dollars per acre worth of uh, herbicide. So it's uh, it was a little bit more competitive, and uh, boy, it, it pays to control that volunteer corn and soybeans. Do you have any recommendations uh, as far as control programs? Sure. Uh, well, there's a lot of different herbicides out there. Select and Assure are probably some of the more common herbicides, the tank mixing that with the Roundup uh, or maybe even an Ignite uh, program. So there's some different options out there, uh, but, uh, but uh, yeah, it's, uh, it, it generally pays to control that volunteer corn. All right. Thanks a lot, Mike. Thank you.